Hello again everybody, uh, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel uh, about model trains and the layout etc. Uh, again, if you've watched the last video, you'll probably know that I did a collaboration with a guy named Sam and uh, Sam's here with me again today. We're going to try to start doing these together again. Um, and we're actually going to move on now from the seven videos that I've just done, which are pretty much a little bit of everything. We're going to move back to the sets from Trying Hornby etc. Now, if you've been following the set videos uh, from 1950 on to 1965, you may remember I was using a website uh, to express everything and show you everything up front. But uh, that website doesn't go any further than 65, which means we've now gone to the Hornby Railways Collector's Guide, which you can see here on the screen. Um, very easy, just Google it, you get to that. And here we've got a choice of years. And so we're going to start from 1966, which is here, when it's going to not do that to me. So click on 1966 and that brings us to here. Now something worth mentioning, um, we've got the train set images here which we're obviously going to use but now, from now on, there is the train pack images so we need to refer to both of these um, during this next series of videos. I will have a quick look here, I know what this is, it's definitely Stevenson's rocket which we've already done so we don't need to go any further for that. Okay, so if we click on the train images then train set images we can see now clearly what was available that year and here you can see the blue pullman which is in the original livery which was done in the last video so no point in repeating everything of course then we've got the car bell which again was in the last video but now we see something new for the first time rs9 intercity express this consists of the class 37 in br green uh, which is the first time you've seen this as well and three coaches two of the pullman coaches first series and then car 79 being the brake coach on the end there so we're going to show you this today and if we move on satellite set was done in the last video so was strike force 10 so was the freight master but now we've got the introduction of something new rs11 here is called the good set which you can see features poly there and then we've got an open coal wagon with shuttered doors we've got a, a car and a little single low loader and we've got that horrible little guards van again Ugh. anyway and next down we've got the midlander which you haven't seen this features the 3f dealy obviously in uh, um, green, red maroon livery and then we've got two coaches which is a basic corridor coach and then we've got the brake on the end which is rs8 set and then of course the pickup train set here we've already done that in the last video so now it's time to go to the layout and make a start Okay then folks, well we are up here on the layout, uh, beginning of this uh, part 8 of the sets videos and uh, as just uh, explained to you from the computer screen, first one round is a new introduction from 1966 called the Good Set, which is there featuring Polly, which I have put a new nameplate on it but didn't make a very good job of it really. <laughs> uh, but anyway, she's, she's, she's there and also we've got on her, we've got the uh, the wagon, coal wagon with the door on now, which is the first time I think we see this one. Then yep. we've got the little uh, flatbed with a car on, and then we've still got that horrible guards van again, the short wheel base one. I don't know why they didn't use a new one on this set. Mm. But anyway, this is the good set, so uh, we'll just get that down. Whoops, ready, John. Looks all right, Sam. Yeah, I think so. She's not too bad. We'll leave her running. Yep. Oh, she's a bit. This is jerky on the point. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> is she going to be alright, do you think? I hope so, yeah. I mean, she's a bit rough, but she's yeah, managing she's just about. It's a level weird, that is. Yeah. Not super full track there, yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Well, that, that point's a bit bumpy now. Right. Okay. Right, next. Uh, next up then, uh, RS8. That way. Right, here we go then. Yeah. RS8. It's a lovely Dealey engine. The 3F, isn't it, this one? Yeah. Yeah, that's the Dealey 3F. 3775. There you go. Along with the two coaches, corridor coach, and then we've got the brake over here. Yeah. Uh, this is exactly how the set looked RS8. Back yeah. there in 1966. So we'll get her on the move as well, hopefully. Yeah, a dead spot there. <laughs> Typical. But it's a gorgeous loco, this. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, I know. Yeah, everyone that one. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Disaster, folks. Something tripped over. 
God knows what happened there. Something got caught, didn't it? Stop pretty quick. Great, it's got fucking instant. Are you recording this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll cut it out. I didn't know, because I know you wanted to keep the disasters in there. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. Weird. What did it catch on? Was it the coupling hook on the brake? On the, uh, on the point? I can't see the last one to see how it goes back. No. Is that coupling hook hanging down? No. Not massively. Oh well. Interesting. I'll um, keep my eye on it now. Okay. I'll catch that down and begin. Okay. Alright, next up. Yeah. We'll introduce him now. What's this? Uh, 37 or 31? Sorry? RS9. Alright, RS9. You're going to have to edit this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Alright, there's the RS9 then. With the three Foreman coaches there. Of course, the brake at the back. Drums. That's the first time we'll see this class of 37 from Triax. Right, yep. Yeah. He's running very smoothly too. Which is an express and the things are up with it. Yep. Well guys, there you have it then. The first three sets that came out in 1966. Yeah. Three this full of holes. And then we'll move on to the next three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which I think is a very nice set. I think that's a, a great starter set or something like that back in the day. Yeah, that's absolutely, a real yeah. A real free, golden. Free up the elite. Yeah. The same there. And a little poly. Bless the little cotton socks. <laughs> rattling round. Yeah, I'm going to say, I can hear a rattling round. Look, she's on the track she was designed for, so... It's absolutely right. There you go. go. That's it, guys. That's your first three in this part seven. All right, folks, well, that's the uh, first popped out of the way now. Uh, we'll obviously back on the computer for reference. And uh, just thinking about it, um, sorry, the quality's not very good off the TV screen, you know, off the monitor, it's, uh, you never get a good picture of them. But the, you get the gist, it's a, a way of, a, you know, referencing everything. Uh, also, um, you might have noticed in that first section where we had the derailment that uh, Sam said, oh, well, I will cut it out. But we, d we decided it was funny, we decided to leave it in. So that's why it's still there. All right, back to the show. Uh, right, 1960 we've just done so we're on 67 here so we'll have a quick look uh, there's no pack uh, images there so we just go straight to the train and have a look well of course first livery Carabelle that one you've just seen RS9 in the first section that's been done that's been done Freightmaster's been done the good set we've just done in that last, last section and we have also the middle under here with, and uh, the pickup train was done uh, in the previous videos so uh, there's nothing there from that year that's new no new stuff at all so you know, move on to 68 right now I'm going to do the train pack images first from now on and I'll explain that possibly in the next section because uh, this one's uh, not relevant to it but we'll go on train packages packs I should say uh, what we've we got there right now <coughs> great we've got the intercity high mech the blue one with the three freight liner freight on there and um, we've got the single pantograph I forget the name of it offhand uh, single pantograph electric loco there they did do the twin pantograph which you've probably seen in uh, <coughs> one of my videos but it uh, was never used in the set and then we've got three intercity coaches here to go with the all right, well, we've sorted those out, but I'm not going to run them yet. Uh, uh, Sam and I will run all three of them together in a minute because we're now going to the uh, train set images, which is here. And now you'll see that this time we're on the second livery of the Blue Pullman. So that's going to have to be featured. Next up, the Freightmaster set, which was in um, number seven video, but now has the Intercity Blue a1a so uh, that's obviously the class 31 we're gonna have to do redo that one uh, here the pickup set is still currently running but it's got 
the longer wheelbase cars ran whoopee and they've changed the loco from Nelly to Polly so yes that one's got to be featured and then of course that's been done that's been done and you've just seen the Midlander so we'll get another one out so we've got three on the line and uh, let's go on with part two okay chaps uh, moving on to the uh, next bit we're going to start with our set R644 this is the super duper AO Ron Electric single pantograph one I might add here she goes, along with the three intercity coaches, break on the end as all as always, as normal. Get her round. Fantastic set this. Runs well, yeah. Yeah. really good. And it's great to see it with the pantograph too. Yeah, sure is. It's also worth pointing out to the viewers that get to the front here for a second. It's worth pointing out that this bogey, the bogey that's used in this one, is absolutely identical to the dock shunter in from the mechanical point of view. Uh, they use exactly everything the same, is identical, but it was a special casting because obviously the Dachshund to cast in is more mm. sort of kind of continental uh, type thing so that's the that casting was made especially for this local which never used in anything else so that they would have taken a little bit of tooling up to get that but there, there it is yeah it's pretty unique then isn't it yeah Lovely, yeah. still, still, that's turned off. Look, it's just yeah. trying to move still. That's like, you know, you've got a good service motor when you oh, see yeah. that. <laughs> right, next setup then is uh, RS52. Oh, the numbering system here is weird. Yeah, it is, right. isn't it? Now, if you saw on the computer, uh, this is the blue form one again. As I say, RS52 is the set. Uh, the same as the uh, one you saw a little bit earlier but um, it's the same livery but it's now got the yellow front hazards and uh, a lot of people said that they thought it spoiled it and I would definitely agree with them I prefer the crest on the front mm. as well but you know we're doing what's in the book so to speak Let's, so yeah we'll let, let her have a, a quick run round You've got this one, haven't you, Sam? Yes, yeah. I think so, anyway. <laughs> and I must say, they do run very well, don't they? Definitely. Good sound to them, I think, as well. Yeah. Now, you may remember that you mentioned on your video when you ran yours that he doesn't struggle on points. No. And the reason he doesn't is the same as for this, because the wheels on it are actually... Um, they actually have got the smaller flanges because yeah. at some point around about this period in time Triang did start reducing the height of the flanges yeah. so when you get one of these it can be hit and miss yes. but unfortunately uh, all, all of mine were hits bar one and I managed to find <laughs> some wheels for that one right yeah yeah so that's it yeah. you want to introduce this next one so here comes R645 which is running really really well there you go the three freight liners. Pretty cool. I'll tell you what I didn't uh, say Sam. I didn't. Oh yeah. Um, when these freight liners arrived oh, um, yeah. some time ago now um, right. somebody had uh, really really good and glued them on uh, which I had to do because I hate the damn things falling off oh, all yeah, the time of course. whoever that glued them on the idiot who did it didn't get the door in the right place There's no door on the back of that oh. <laughs> so and it won't come Typical. off so, but at least those two are right yeah <laughs> <laughs> one job eh yeah Still looks pretty smart though. It's a oh, great yeah. little set this. 
Well, I think the best thing to do is just get them all running now. Yeah, all right. Get a few shots for the viewers. Okay. So there goes the Pullman. Looking gorgeous. And you know when we did the last video together, Oh yeah. Remember you saying to try and get a few more low down shots? Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. One of the comments on that video, yeah. two of them have said, oh, yeah. like the high shot. <laughs> <Yeah. so, laughs> right, AL1. Oh, These all look good. Yeah, to me they do. Yeah, it's a great sound, this is. Yeah. Happy Motors. Yeah. Well, oh, this is uh, part eight. Yeah, part eight. We're now, so we've got this up to 1970. Oh. We've done to 60% here, yeah. we're going to move on to the more one. Yep. Yeah. Right. Very cool. Stop the wall. Go left and around. Blue Pullman, second livery. Okay. The AL1. You can really hear those rib wheels going. Yeah, yeah. Right, so moving on to the next section then, we've got uh, this next set which is RS51, that's right, Freightmaster set, um, which has already been done apparently in part 6, um, but with a green uh, loco, and this time we're going to do it again with the Intercity blue version. Uh, I think that's all we've got to say. And then we've got this uh, pickup set which has been featured also in the past. Um, obviously though the loco change, um, as you can see there, this one is Polly, and uh, what was the other one, was it Nelly before? Nelly. Uh, so obviously loco changed to Nelly, although I think the rest is the same, isn't it? Yeah, so. I, think, I think it was a white fish van and it's a sort of bluey one oh, there. Right. But I think I've only got the white one, so it doesn't matter. So very slight differences yep. there. Um, but yeah, so that's the first two. Alright, so that's it for 1968 then. So moving on to 1969 now. If we head into the train pack images, you can see the first one here um, is R555C, which is the blue Pullman once again, but in a completely different livery this time, which is the third livery. Um, so obviously that warrants uh, another showing, uh, and there it is, obviously, you can see there. And uh, I believe that makes us up to three, which we're now ready to run. We've got all those out, guys. Uh, we're on layout, so the first up then, as Sam just told you, is the Freightmaster. This time, I might add, keeping the same catalogue number as RS51 for the set, but this time we have this one, which is the Intercity one. Class 31, A1A, A1A, um, and it's got more or less the same stock. So we've got the uh, horse box, the cattle wagon, the United Dairies, uh, Dairies, the pedigree, the cable drum has been added. That's an extra what they put on. Then you've got the three transformer load there, uh, and the little uh, five plank uh, open wagon, and uh, again another long wheel base guard van. Right, we'll just get her going round. Have a good look at her. First time from the sets that you've seen the the blue. That's the one. Yeah. So we'll just move her out the way for a minute. Uh -huh. Right, she's fine there while we move to the middle line now. Alright, so next up then is the pickup set, which is RS24. Uh, obviously we've seen this one before in the past, but uh, we've got the change of uh, from Nelly to Polly, of course. Still an 040, but uh, you know, slightly different. And this time we've got the long-based uh, brake van as well, which is slightly different. But here she goes. The vertical set. Rapping 
Yeah. <laughs> I remember that from the last time we were on it. Yeah, she's a rough look. Alright, I'll bring this to a stop. Bit, bro bit abrupt there, sorry yeah. about that. I just, uh, all right, uh, moving on to the third one uh, for this section. Uh, obviously, we've already told you this is the third livery of the Pullman. I don't personally like this livery, and I don't think it sold that well, really, either. But mm. uh, anyway, it's a part of the sets, and uh, yeah, let's just do it. This is the train pack, which just features the power car and the dummy, as you can obviously see there. Yes, I, I never thought this was a very nice period for livery with British really. Rail, it, um, you know, or whoever was owning it at the time. Well, it was very plain and it's very yeah, modern, isn't it? So, yeah. mm. uh, it's, it's not uh, terribly hard to find this this one, uh, but okay. the, the, the centre coast just still fetch good money though, so right. you know, obviously people are after it. Yes. Well, so. I think with that, shall we get them all running? Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let these go by and we'll get the pickup set going. There we go. Yeah, a little poly. <laughs> The cattle wagon, I think it's got square wheels on it. Have you seen it? <laughs> I know. Shake it, it's everywhere. And the brake is as well. Is it? Yeah, I no, think so. Got the old wheels on it. <laughs> Never mind. It adds to the fun, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> All going well, took wood so far. Yeah. Yeah. Seems not reasonable. Yeah, as always. Morning, Rat, and we'll stop them. On the other side. Alright. Okay. Alright. As good as anywhere. Go. Yes. Polly. Well. This is getting a little full. Yeah, that's not bad for all. Alright. The pull on There you have it guys, next section coming up. Alright, so on to the next lot then. We're still with 1969, but obviously into the sets now. Um, obviously this one's been done before, I believe. Um, so obviously the first one is the Pullman, obviously with the, in the grey livery. Um, but with this time it isn't simply the Loco and the Dummy, we've got the Centre Coach too. Um, which makes it more of a set, I suppose. So that's the first. Uh, next up... We've got uh, its old poly again, uh, this time with slight uh, changes with the rolling stock. Now we have made a slight cock up um, in the video and it means that there's a slight error. Uh, we didn't want to film it all again so actually the fish van is still here um, on this video that you're about to see. Uh, we didn't actually change to this wagon. I don't know what this wagon is. It's just an open door. All right. Mineral yeah, wagon. The open door. Not so mineral wagon. Whatever it is, yeah. the open door wagon. <laughs> uh, we didn't, uh, we did, we forgot to change it basically, which is our fault. Uh, we did change this, uh, this open wagon here. That's the mineral one. The uh, mineral wagon. Uh, so in the next time, I mean, we've got this set coming up again, obviously next year. Um, so we, instead of the fish van, which does return in 1970, we're going to use, we're going to run this one instead, essentially. So unfortunately, we've still got the damn fish van, um, but we'll swap it next time. So not a problem. So that you'll see that as well. And then one that we're both very excited about, as you can see there, we're on to a, a decent loco, a big steamer. And of course, it's the Albert Hall 460 Great Western. 
Uh, this time with a gorgeous set of Pullman coaches, obviously you've got the two first class and then the brake at the back there, uh, which is a fantastic set. And uh, we're going to run all those three right now. So here we go. Yeah, guys, uh, you may remember uh, a bit earlier on in this video that um, I said we're going to do the train packs first uh, and then do the train sets of the same year, of course. Uh, the reason is because you've just seen this going around as a train pack which just featured the loco and the dummy. But now it's available in the same year as a set with the centre car coach. So that's she, there she is. Um, I forgot the number off the top of my head. Is it? Oh, it's RS52. Yeah, of course it is. Right, so we'll just swing her around. Sam's on the camera. Yep, again. Camera run today. Lovely loco. Oh yeah. I reckon these next three are my favourite three so far. Yeah. By a long way. Bring her to a stop just there. Right, now you've seen the uh, pickup set RS24 quite a few times, but it's different again this year. It's still featuring Polly for the, the previous change from last year, uh, but it's actually got uh, the drop down, uh, the coal wagon with the drop down door here uh, as one of the changes, and I think it's possibly the gold of I know, I think that already was on it, so, so it's now called RS24A, which is obvious because of a slight change. So we we'll just go around with it because you've seen her quite a few times, yeah. <laughs> spending it a lot of time on her. <laughs> yeah. She must have been popular though, I suppose. Oh, Christ, yeah. These 040s, well, the kids loved them. Oh yeah. You know, and the, and they do fly as well. Yeah, and they're kind uh, of unbreakable. It's completely out of context. Yeah. You know, they're not they're not the scale speed. No, no. But, but it. It's fun. It, you've got to remember, kids always want to see things go fast. Yes. Right. Okay. Third up, uh, we've got. Uh, what do you think? This is. I know what this is. This is RS90. Yeah. We've, we've both been looking forward to doing this one. Yeah. This is my this favourite. Is the, the first time we see kind of see. A sort of proper Pullman Express yes. with a steam locomotive rather than the Diesel. Class 37 which uh, featured these three coaches a bit earlier on in the video. Uh, but the, the Loco, obviously, she's not mint, she's in good nick, um, nothing broken missing, the usual thing. Uh, Albert Hall, as you can see here, uh, running numbers, what's that, 4983? Yep. Uh, slight bit of wear on the uh, transfer on the tender there, but uh, they're available, so I'm not too forced. And you could do with a little bit of touch up, bit of humbrol silver on the boiler bands, but again, it's easy to do. So, yeah, lovely low cone, fully serviced as well. I mean, look at that. It's just brilliant, isn't it? You've got to love these great Western locos, Me you? too. Although, at this point, you're not for great Western No. But well, I suppose that's what they're known as, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Don't you just love it? Yeah. Now, we will tell you, this one has got the Triangle Smoke Unit in it. Uh, but as always, and unfortunately, where's the middle wheel? The tender not wheel around. <laughs> She's doing now. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you have to run pretty fast to get it to work. So we're yeah. just going to do this as a demo, yep. not necessarily as a nice looking scale speed. So, there we go. You can catch it. Oh, oh we've got the coaches to fly off. There you go. We're going to slow run by now, that's the rule. Yes, let's try. Right, Fantastic. Come on, we're getting more going, Sam. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. There's Polly. RS24A. RS90. The Pullman. And then uh, RS52. Yeah. The Flu Pullman, which is now a great Pullman. Yes. Good year, 1969. Yep. Yeah. Think all right? Yep, yeah. very much all right. Mm -hmm. Look at that Albert Hall go. <laughs> oh. The speed Albert Hall is a little bit. Yeah. I'm just trying to get next to you. Yeah. Let's go around the back, shall we? It 
told me that, didn't tell. Yep. <laughs> that middle wheel screw up there, I know that tender, yeah. that's the straight. Is that? It might be slightly, maybe the axle's not even right. Ah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not going around there. I don't know if I've thought that. that is no, no, anyway. not really. Well, we're parkable. And we've got three more to move on to. Start with the uh, poly. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Lovely. Okay, pull one over this side. I just wanted to see this one on its own again. Yes. <laughs> it's actually puffing a bit of smoke. Yeah, now. I think that's like, not too it's bad not. actually. It's really nice. Better than normal, that is, yeah, on the smoke much. generator. Yeah, that's not too shabby. That's a great triangle, look at that. Yeah. That's brill. <laughs> that's absolutely brill. It is. Wicked. That's solid as a rock. Yeah. Yeah, I did give her a great service. Yeah. She was uh, definitely Tell. needing it. Oh dear. Hey oh. Sam, we've got to, I've got to clear it all off again now, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. Move on to some more. Yeah. Oh, let's <laughs> right, go. Let's do it. Right, on the next three guys we see first of all here uh, another complete new set, which is RS89, the Rail Freight set. It's also the first time we see the uh, the blue shunt of the 08 in uh, in the sort of intercity blue with the typical yellow front. Um, along with that, it's the first time we see the, uh, the flatbed with the three Ford vans on. And it's the first time we see a short-based Rail Freight um, wagon it's the first time this one has ever been shown so this is all brand new that's the first item next after that we've got the lovely r157c the do the blue intercity uh, class 101 dmu now the interesting thing about this is the very first series was back in the 60s and it was um it was in green obviously at the time then the second series was in the i think it was the early 70s and it had uh, head codes with lights in them um, and it didn't sell very well that one nobody liked it uh, so obviously they dropped it but now we've got the molds from the very first series ever done in the 60s they've used the same mold to do the same one as that but without the, the illuminated head codes this is actually quite rare it's, it was only made for two years which isn't a lot and you, you don't see many of them about and I've got a, a mint pair so looking forward to that one and thirdly for the next one we see the inclusion of another new set completely again this is rs605 the flying scotsman set which is in uh, lner green and then you've got the pullman coach in the middle the posh one and then you've got the uh, uh, first second and then the brake on the end uh, yep and it's a lovely set and you're going to see it in a few seconds all right so first up is the rs89 and this is the rail freight set just three pieces obviously uh, with the 060 diesel shunter. Yeah, first time in blue as well. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's in the Intercity Blues. First time we're sitting this colour. Before that, it was uh, black originally and then the green one. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then we've got this uh, wagon with the vans on top. Yeah, low loader. Um, they're glued on, guys. Look, yes. glued on. So they don't fly off. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not that word again. <laughs> <laughs> then the uh, freight liner, of course, with the two. Uh, Two boxes. They're 20 foot ones they are. Yes. Now um, worth telling the viewers on this that this I believe that this was only sold in this set. I could stand right. to be correct on that but I have a feeling it was never sold as a separate item. Right. Which if that's the case that's why it was hard to get. Right yes. So, but we got it. Yep. And there she runs very nicely too. Not a bad little set. So this was the period in time where things started getting a bit coloured, lots of nice colours. Yeah, that's true. This is very colourful, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad, I suppose. It's nice to have a bit of variety, but... Yeah. Oh. Alright, we move on to the uh, DNU. Yes. Now, this is a very interesting one. The original 60s set was numbered R157, which... Um, the very same mould, which I told you a little bit earlier on in the introduction. 
but, but this time we see it in the city blue. Um, no head coach, no big head coach illuminated like the ones that we've done the second series and not many people liked. Um, and these are actually quite hard to find because they only made it for two years and they never made a centre car. So getting one of those is virtually just no chance really. Um, yeah, and basically the set's got the same name, R157, but this time it's got a C on it. So R157C, yep. here we go. Yep. It's quite a smart thing really, isn't it? Looks pretty nice snaking round. It's unique. Yes. See the wheels sparking there? Yeah. Of course the typical Hornby diesel noise from the ribbed wheels. Yes. The trademark I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Very nice. And a very good runner as well. All the point service I might add. Obviously. <laughs> as you do. Yes. Right. Third up then. Yes. Another one, absolutely brand new, complete full set of new stuff. This is RS605. Look at that. Yes. Beautiful flying Scotsman. Go on, Sam, tell them all about it. Yeah, well, this one's, uh, you probably recognise this if you've seen my channel. This is uh, my one that I showed a couple of, well, a couple of videos ago. Uh, gorgeous little loco, this one's in perfect condition as you can see. Uh, as we mentioned earlier when we were introducing it all, uh, you've got the, the couple of teak coaches. This one here, number is that 1010, yep. uh, which is with the brake at the back. And in the middle you've got the Pullman, um, which you can see is their roof. And that's exactly the same as on the pictures we showed you on the Hornby site. Uh, same with the teaks too, same running numbers. And of course the one and only Flying Scotsman uh, pulling it all. Uh, so yeah, great little set, really really good. Oh. <laughs> and she's, uh, yeah, she's a fairly good runner too. Well, let's get them all going. I think the number of the brake coach is 1870. Okay. Unless yeah. that's the year it was made. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it, doesn't it, with the yeah. detail. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's all great that is. Fantastic set really. When they start making flying scotch me. Perfect. And it's quite the combination of uh, various engines and rolling stuff too, isn't it? Sure it is. This lot. But this year, if we're in 1970 now, I believe. Yep. This is all new. Right. Yes. Yeah. None of it was ever manufactured before. Right. Other than the, the 101. Right. Yeah. Like I say, it was back in the 60s. Yeah, so it's quite a big moment. Yeah, especially for the flying Scotsman, it's quite a big moment to bring that out, isn't it? Yeah. Although, there is a story about this. Oh, yeah. We can talk about later. Okay. On a different video. Alright, okay. You wait for that then. Bring them to a halt then? Yep, if you want to. We'll get them all across the front here. Yep, alright. Alright, we'll pull them out stop them then. Okay. Yeah, we'll that That's a corker runner, that is. Yeah, it is. Well, it's virtually unused. Really? As of about uh, six months ago. Good, that. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah, nice when you can catch them like that in good condition. Yeah. Yeah. Pleased with that. Um, we'll get the uh, we'll get the, the, the rail point set. All right. And she's another very good runner too. Never a hitch with her. Yep. Yeah. Look at that, that's got to be smooth, hasn't it? Sorry, it's trying to run still, it's switched off again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nope. nice. class 101 in between them. Yep. 
And even though it's going in the clockwise direction, the good thing about one of these is if you can stop it, although it's going forward, you can actually stop it there in between. Yes. And it looks like it's all facing the same way yeah, anyway. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, perfect. So there they are. Oh, Sam, you know what we've got to do now, don't you? What? Clear it all off again and oh. get the next lot uh, out. Oh, well, it's always fun seeing all the new stuff. All right, yeah. <laughs> Give it a go then. Let's do it. All right, so continuing with the year 1970 then, next up is RS600, uh, which is the junior Freightliner set, as you can see there. And as you can see, it's still kept um, the Class 08 shunter, the 060 that we've just run a couple of minutes ago. Um, so that's no problem at all. And then you've got the two 30-foot uh, boxes on the wagon. And then at the back there, you can just about see it, that's the three 20-foot ones. Uh, so similar to the ones we've just run a minute ago, uh, but obviously the back two are slightly different. Uh, so we'll show you those. Second up, we've got uh, a complete new set, uh, RS604, called the Nightmare set, as you can see on the screen. Uh, this time we've got the uh, Intercity Blue Class 37, which I've just serviced, which is good timing. Behind it, we see a first time um, an Intercity um, mail car. This is the one which throws the picks the mail bags up and throws them out. Um, and we've not run this at all because it's the very first one. It's brand new to the uh, to this year, 1970. Behind that, we've got a, an intercity sleeper. And then, though you can't see it on on here, there's actually a. Uh, um, uh, intercity brake on the very end which we've already got out anyway mm -hmm. so that's an easy one to put together next all right so thirdly then is one we're all quite familiar with by now it's rs624 it's the pickup set once again uh, if we look into it here um, it's still the same 040 uh, same uh, chassis and everything as poly and uh, etc uh, but instead this is painted green obviously uh, running number 27 uh, now this obviously shows the fish van, so instead we're going to run the ventilated van uh, with opening doors as we explained uh, not too long ago uh, because of our little mistake earlier on. And then other than that you've still got the uh, the brake van at the back there and of course the uh, little open wagon. Uh, so yeah, not a bad set, uh, let's get on to it. Well we're back again, all cleared off, a little more brought out. Yep. So, no point on dwelling on the loco, you've seen it. But the set itself is RS600, it's a new set. The door's coming open, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's um, it's called the Junior Freightliner set. So again, this is completely different apart from the Loco. We've got two uh, thirty uh, twenty no thirty foot containers, which is Pickford and Container Way, which is the first time we've seen this one. Uh, and then of course this one on the back here, uh, we've got chemicals. Uh, this is called an open. And then we've got the uh, Freightliner uh, 20 foot one. They're all 20 foot there. So mm -hmm. strange, Sam, they didn't put a guard van with this. Yeah. I bet that would be a cost effective thing. It perhaps trying would, to yeah. Keep, trying to keep the price right. Yes. Yeah, here we go then. Yeah. RS600, the Junior Freightliner. Yeah. And didn't you say also that that uh, Freightliner box at the back, that was the last time that turns up? I think it is, yes. Right. The, 20, the, the 20 foot one. Right, the 30 yeah. foot ones. Uh, we have seen those earlier in this video. Yes. Uh, they might come up again later. I'm okay. Sure. But I don't think this that short one. I don't think it does. Okay. So that's the last time we see that possibly then. Yeah. All right. Next up then, RS six two four. Of course the 040 number 27 and as we explained also we've got this ventilated van as opposed to the fish wagon due to our little mistake last time <laughs> uh, but other than that that's the set uh, lovely green version of the 040 this time let's get her off I think um, Polly, yeah. Connie and Nelly I think they're now from the army. I don't think they exist anymore oh do they not? I don't think so well, I think you had drawn them from the catalogue. Oh, so it's the end of an era? I think so. Oh. I could be wrong. The, well, set, the sets with them might still be going for a while. Okay. But I don't think they were sold separately anymore. Oh. Well, we've, we've seen a lot of them. Yep. We know that. Oops. Need to do that. Ooh, it's stuttered on that point yeah, then. Yeah. I, I saw, saw that. that. Mm, that's a bit. Sometimes it's perfectly yeah. alright, sometimes it's not, so it depends, it must be the wheel. No, she's been serviced, can't anymore. No, can't. I'd like to forget. Oh, 
Here's the picture of the No. No, that's quite an obvious thing, isn't it? Oh, so... Should we get the third one going, Sam? Yeah, let's do it. Just, uh, just popping the bit. Well, here it comes. Something completely and utterly different now. Yes, absolutely. This is all new. This is the first time to see the Class 37 in uh, Intercity Blue. The whole set itself is uh, RS604, I remember rightly too. I'm sure it's 604. Uh -huh. It's called the Night Mail set. So, again, everything's virtually new. The loco in this um, delivery. We've got the Royal Mail coach, Intercity Mail coach there. Then this is the first time we ever see a sleeper. Intercity sleeper, which is there. And then we've got the Intercity wake on the end, which you have seen before, because that got wrong a bit earlier on. Yes. Uh, with, uh, I forget the loco now. God knows. And there they go. Yeah. The right way I'll say. Again, quite a nice little set, isn't it? Oh hell yeah. Quite, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of different possibilities with this one. That would be quite uh, a pleasing set for somebody at Christmas. Yes, definitely. Hours of fun with all the mailbag uh, yeah. features and stuff like that. I can't do that on this layout. No. I can't get the the little gadget that comes in the side of the uh, truck, I haven't got the room to do it. Okay. So I can't show you working. Well, my modern one doesn't work very well, I must <laughs> say. The amount of times there's a little postal bag on the floor instead of inside the coach, <laughs> it's hardly worth doing it. But it's all about positioning. Well, you've had a good one. Yep, certainly have. All very well, I might add. Got everything, and uh, we'll get the next one ready. Yep. That's up on the points all of a sudden. No. Oh. Really? <laughs> Why? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, definitely. definitely like that it. back wheel. Yeah. All right, there's the night mail set. Yeah, that's definitely uh, the shunter jerking a bit. Yeah. No worries. Well. At least we got there. Yes. And here's uh, Polly's replacement. <laughs> Doing a good crawl, actually. Yeah. 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 I think we must have some dirty pickets on this now. Yeah, possibly. Seems to be deteriorating. Mm. Never mind, she did a job. It's, uh, I think it's lighter fuel and cottonwood time. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioning to you that we're nearly at the end. Uh, we've actually got just two more to run. So we're going to clear everything off the layout, and rumble through loads of boxes trying to find them, and we'll be back with the last bit rather soon. All right, well, we're finally here onto the last two sets uh, this time. Uh, the next one, of course, is RS602, which is the senior Freightliner set. Uh, and it involves the high mech, um, obviously, as we've seen before, uh, and also this uh, freight at the back with the three 20 foot uh, boxes. Uh, we've just run that not too long ago. Uh, but what is new is these, these two 30 foot ones. And if we scroll down here, you can see there um, that's the Fives and Manchester Lines pair. Uh, so, another nice little freight set there. Uh, and then finally, which is the final um, of the sets from 1970, is RS601. This is the steam freight set, obviously including the 060 Jinty, uh, which we've seen before. 
and it also has the red brick van um, as you can see just behind me there uh, again we've got the minivans uh, on the low loader and at the back there this is the Johnny Walker um, wagon if we scroll down you can see what it is here it's the Johnny Walker bulk grain wagon and there we go and at the back you can't see it in the picture but of course it's the BR 20 ton brake van uh, so that's the final two sets um, should be good let's get them going well we're here folks, we're on the final run and uh, coming up first we've got RS601, the steam freight set and this is the first time we've seen the Jinty again in ages, it's the first time she's appeared in this part 8 and that's without a doubt, um, I don't think we've seen much more of her again, or certainly not of this livery anyway, mm. the, the black one, but along with her we see a red London brick uh, wagon here now which originally was brown but we've got the proper red one on there. You've got the, the flatbed with the three Ford vans on which you've just seen, so they've reused that obviously. Uh, but now something else new. First time we've seen the uh, grain wagon there, uh, good old Johnny Walker. So that's a new addition <laughs> to the catalogue for 1970. And of course we've got the standard 20 ton long wheel base brake van on the end. So yes. take, take this round. The brake van. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Quite it bizarre. Is nice to see the Gigi again. Oh, it is. It's a lovely, lovely little loco. Along with Princess Elizabeth, the Gigi, they were the first two that they ever did, and they were yeah. still popular to this day. Yes. And that's good. Very nice. Now, what we've done, we've changed the uh, the, the, the nightmare set. We've left it on, so we've got three items running, um, and we've just moved it to the centre line. So we just let that go anyway. Yep, there she goes, once again. And so, we're right at the end. Yep. And the very last piece then, our 602, uh, with the high mech. And um, what's this, the senior freight set. This one, with the two big old pieces of rolling stock, the 20 foot uh, boxes there, and the 30 foot ones. Uh, obviously the Manchester. New ones. Yep, new ones, the five uh, Manchester liners. Um, great little set, quite a variety of stuff on the back and the high mech of course looking fantastic. Let's go No guards van again in this No, set. no guards van. So. I think the cost of doing this yeah. is weighed it's against putting the guards van on. Yes, absolutely. There she goes. Very smooth too, look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, well, I've serviced it. Oh, obviously, I know that. <laughs> I suppose that will make it the smoothest time e in existence, then. <laughs> oh, look about that. <laughs> well, it looks it to me. We're not going clockwise this time. Yes. It looks like they're all nearly linked together again. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> right. Don't be jinking down a tad. Right. Slow that down. Take the oh, take the freight a bit faster. Okay. The higher mate. It's an express higher mate today. Yes it is. That's <laughs> better. That's <laughs> perfect. Yes, much better. And the Jinty is more of a Jinty speed now. <laughs> So if it wasn't carrying anything valuable. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, brilliant. Well I think that's it Sam. I think we've done it, yeah. We're at the end of 1970. Yes. So, as always, we're just bringing through stuff. Actually we don't always do that, but we will anyway. Yes, since it's the last one. Right, here comes the high mech in. Looks great. Yeah, original Triang bogey as well. Yep. Flash yeah. 37 in the night, mail train. Yep, fantastic that. We got it. Yep. And last but not least. 
uh, steam freight set. We're there. That's it. Oh, <laughs> how many boxes have we had to rummy through to sort this lot out? Uh, quite a few, one or two. <laughs> I've got stuff all over my bed, all over the front room floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everywhere. Yes. So, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right, as best as we can. Yes. So, right then, guys, well, look, we're at the end now. That, so, you've seen in this part eight, you've seen everything from uh, 1966 through to 1970. Obviously, we will start part nine at some point in the not too distant future. We'll do it together again, um, but we don't know when that's going to be yet because we've no. obviously got other commitments between us as well. I also got to tell you guys, uh, I forgot to mention this a bit earlier, but there's another YouTuber who's does quite a similar thing to myself I think he's a young lad um, and his, his channel is ever so easy it's layout one two three uh, there is a space between the word layout and the one two three whether that will matter I don't know so there's there's a space in it but it's layout one two three and his name is Sam as well oh, okay. so Sam there's your little mensch what I've been saying I was going to do for you there it is okay and I've got one as well uh, my good friend Adrian who's just started doing reviews actually uh, and he's very good at them too uh, so if anyone's, uh, you know, if anyone wants to see some more reviews of all kinds of locos, uh, you can check out his channel, which is Aid Pullen here on YouTube. And I think you'd really appreciate that too. Um. So uh, having said all that, hope you enjoyed it. So uh, all I can say, the usual things, is good night, God bless, take care of yourselves and each other, uh, be good and uh, be safe and well. And so simply, it's good night from me. Yep, yeah, and it's good night. It's good night from him. All right, cheers, and everybody.